Hello everyone, today we will implement a least detail layout using Jetpack Compose and this layout it is adaptive on all devices so on a phone we simply have two screens like in, in here we have a list and we click on the item and it shows up on your screen but if we are on a tablet for example let's make this bigger okay and we click on an item the detail screen it will show up here and we can also have another extra screen that shows up here but i haven't implemented and this is your homework so let's go into android studio and let's see how to implement that so firstly go to the build.gradle from the app module and make sure that you have the kotlin parcelize because we will pass classes to the navigation so if you click on the item we'll send a class which is a parcelable and we also need these dependencies the adaptive layout dependencies the nav adaptive navigation and the adaptive so let's go back to the main activity and let's start to implement the list list detail layout list detail layout Let's remove the modifier because we don't need it and let's also call the function here list detail layout firstly we need a navigator so let's say ball navigator equals remember navigator list detail paint scaffold navigator and here we send any as a type we also need to opt in for the experimental api now we need to add that navigable list detail pane scaffold and let's pass the navigator here so navigator let's open the curly brackets here and now let's go down here and we will create separate composables for the list pane and the detail pane and here you can also have the extra pane as i said let's create the list pane and let's remove the modifier let's start with a lazy column that here's the max size let's also add some padding like 20 dp let's put the content padding padding values to, um, oh here is the padding not there forgot 20 dp now let's create a list of 10 items so let's say items 10 and and let's say index and now let's say text let's say index i'll pass the index here let's also add a modifier so modifier field parent field parent max width let's also add a clickable and a padding of 20 dp let's also increase the font size like 60 16 sp and the font weight let's make it bold now in order to implement the navigation we need to create a parcelable class as i said in the beginning this is a parcelable class that we send to the detail pane so let's say class item vol id which is an integer and is a parcelable and let's also annotate this with parcelize from the kotlin parcelize and now let's say on click and pass the item which returns unit and now let's call the function here on click and let's create the item id equals to index now let's add the list pane here so list pane let's put the on click get the item and say navigator navigate to pane equals list detail pane scaffold role and pass detail and the content is the item and let's align this a little okay now let's create the detail pane so detail pane remove these and let's say item and get the navigate 
looking back. Choose a new need. Now let's say column and let's add the film max size modifier and let's also add the background color like color red. Uh, let's say copy and let's change the opacity to 0 0.1. Now let's also add some padding like 20 dp and now let's say vertical arrangement arrangement vertical spaced by 60 dp now let's simply add an icon button let's say icon icons dot rounded arrow back ios new content description is null put arguments on separate lines and here we simply pass the navigate back now let's also create a text so let's say item and pass the item.id let's make this uh, 32 sp and the font weight is bold put this on separate lines and let's go here to edit so detailed pane and let's wrap this with an animated pane to have a smooth animation now in order to get the item we need to say navigator oops navigator scaffold the current destination content and let's say oops let this is the item and we simply say item as item and now let's move this here and let's remove the curly brackets from there and say on click oh sorry navigate back is navigator navigate back now let's run the app and see if everything is okay so let's try to navigate to item 3 okay let's navigate back let's also change to a phone device this means the notification and it works perfectly so if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more content like this see you soon